Welcome back to Medigap Show, where we simplify the intricate world of Medicare. Today, we are delving into Medicare Supplement Plan G. This comprehensive plan ensures that you stay on original Medicare for 2024, protecting you against the hassles of Medicare Advantage. Hi, I'm Holly Cohen, licensed independent broker and founder of MediGapCares.org. We're a nationwide agency committed to helping you understand that there are two distinct ways to be on Medicare. Having original Medicare with a Medigap plan versus Medicare Advantage two completely different ways to have your Medicare set up. Stay tuned, watch the video, and you will learn so much you won't be able to find on mainstream media and also on all those commercials that they air. So are you bewildered by the choices within Medicare? You are not alone. We're about to shed light on Medicare Supplement Plan G, helping you to understand its benefits, how it secures your Medicare access, and why it's a wise choice compared to Medicare Advantage. But before we get started into the specifics of Plan G, let's start with some basics. Medicare Supplement Plans, also known as Medigap, are designed to fill in the gaps of original Medicare. So today we're focusing on Plan G, which is a robust shield against the inconveniences of Medicare Advantage. Saves you money and saves you all that red tape that you have to deal with when you're on a Medicare Advantage plan. So let's get started talking about Medicare Supplement Plan G and how it safeguards your Medicare choices without any prior authorizations and why it is a preferable option compared to Medicare Advantage. Medicare Supplement Plan G is your safeguard designed to complement original Medicare and fill in the gaps where original Medicare leaves off. So what do I mean by that? Let's start with what is original Medicare. Part A of original Medicare is the hospital, the hospice care and the skilled nursing care side of Medicare. It's the inpatient part of original Medicare. And original Medicare, when you are only on original Medicare, you're on original Medicare, part A will pay 80% of any bill under any part A service. Now, let's talk about what is part B. Part B is everything that's outpatient. So it, that involves things such as doctor's visits, specialist visits, all testing, all outpatient surgeries, and durable medical equipment, also infusions and injections in a doctor's office or outpatient facility. Now, where does Medigap Plan G fit in to original Medicare? Very simple. It pays the 20% after original Medicare Part A and Part B pay the first 80%. You are only left on a Plan G with the out-of-pocket cost of the Part B deductible, which next year for 2024 will equal $240 for the year. Once you've met that $240 deductible of Medicare for the year, you, are, you have 100% coverage, first paid 80% by original Medicare, and then Plan G fills in the gap and pays the 20%. Original Medicare and Plan G allows you to go anywhere you want throughout the entire United States that will take your red, white, and blue card. Original Medicare, when you have a Plan G, is driving the bus and a Plan G simply hops on that bus and picks up the 20%, leaving you out of pocket for the year of simply the Part B deductible, which again, next year will equal $240. Plan G offers comprehensive coverage, leaving you with that minimal out-of-pocket expense of the Part B deductible. Again, it covers your Part A, 
deductibles and coinsurance, and it covers the 20% coinsurance of Part B. It even covers foreign travel emergencies. The only gap that a Plan G does not fill in is the Part B deductible. Again, next year will equal $240. The unique feature of a Medicare supplement, also called Medigap Plan G, is that it keeps you on original Medicare. It works seamlessly with original Medicare, allowing you to choose any doctor and any hospital in the entire United States that will take your Medicare card. And you have the freedom to continue visiting any healthcare provider nationwide without prior authorizations or referrals, simply because you're on original Medicare. This ensures that you remain in control of your Medicare. Now let's talk about original Medicare with Medicare Supplement Plan G versus Medicare Advantage, highlighting the significant differences and why Plan G is often the wiser choice. Medicare Advantage plans are run by private insurance companies that take you off of original Medicare Part A and Part B. They come with network restrictions, an HMO or a PPO network, often requiring prior authorizations for many treatments, which result in delays in care when you need those treatments the most. In contrast, Medicare Supplement Plan G is governed by federal law, ensuring that whatever your doctor orders is deemed medically necessary and must first be covered by original Medicare at 80% with that remaining 20% covered by Plan G. There are no co-pays, no networks, and no prior authorizations with Medicare Supplement Plan G as there are with Medicare Advantage plans. So let me share a personal story that highlights the importance of choosing the right Medicare coverage. My in-laws live next door to their neighbors, John and Mary, and my in-laws have Medicare Supplement Plan Gs, while their neighbors, John and Mary, have opted for Medicare Advantage. Their experiences couldn't be more different. So. My in-laws have enjoyed the peace of mind that comes with Medicare Supplement Plan G. They've had the freedom to choose any healthcare provider, doctors and hospitals across the whole country, and they love to travel without worrying about treatment decisions, the need for prior authorizations. Their experience has been a testament to the value of Plan G. So let me cover what happened just this summer to my father-in-law. They were out of state traveling, and unfortunately my father-in-law encountered a health issue. The health issue needed immediate medical treatment and they were in another state than where they live. But they're on original Medicare with a Medicare supplement, Medigap Plan G, which means that all my father-in-law had to do was speak to his friend who's, that they were staying with in that state, find a specialist for what he needed, and all he had to do simply was pick up the phone, call that specialist, and he was able to make an appointment right away because he has original Medicare with a Medigap Plan G. Now, had he been on Medicare Advantage, he would have had to make sure that that doctor was in network of his plan. He probably would have had some delays in his treatment. So now let's talk about what happened at his doctor's office. He did have to have medical treatment based on the results of his tests. He had already met his Part B deductible for this year, so he was able to walk out of the doctor's office without any medical bills, and he had to go to an outpatient facility for his treatment. There were no delays in his care. Again, at the outpatient facility, he was able to give them his red, white, and blue card, so they build Medicare directly. They build the Medicare National Fund that we all pay into because my father-in-law is on original Medicare with a Medigap Plan G. Again, he was able to have no delays in care at the outpatient facility and he was able to leave without any medical bills. Now, let's discuss 
John and Mary, their neighbors, because it's a very different situation that happened to them this summer. Their neighbor, Mary, had been at the mercy of her Medicare Advantage plan because of network restrictions and the need for prior authorizations that led to her delays and limitations in her health care this summer. Her story serves as a stark reminder of the differences in Medicare coverage between original Medicare with Medigap versus Medicare Advantage. So Mary is on a Medicare Advantage plan. She and John were also traveling outside of their state this summer. And unfortunately, Mary had a serious health issue arise. They're on a PPO Medicare Advantage plan. They were also staying with friends, so they were able to ask their friends who to see. Because Mary is on a PPO Medicare Advantage plan, she is allowed to go outside of her network and she had to do so. So Mary was able to find a specialist outside of the network because she's on a PPO Medicare Advantage plan. She had to go through with further treatment. She even had a brief hospital stay. Mary had delays in her treatment because they were waiting on prior authorizations from her Medicare Advantage plan insurance company. So finally, Mary got the care she needed. She was back on her way to her home state. She's home a few weeks and guess what? Bills start coming in the mail. Because she is on a PPO Medicare Advantage plan, her max out of pocket in network this year was 8,300. And Mary had to even go outside of her network. The maximum out of pocket outside the network exceeds 11,000. So she came home to a lot of bills coming in the mail, unfortunately, which she didn't understand because the agent that explained to her what a Medicare Advantage plan was only told her the pros, did not tell her the cons. That agent told her that it was a $0 premium plan that was going to give her dental and vision for free and take care of her across the country no matter what. But they didn't go on to explain that she is responsible for 20% of her bill in most circumstances until she reaches her maximum amount of pocket, which again, this year, out of network exceeds over $11,000. So Mary had significant bills. And thank goodness she is in better health. And now that it's open enrollment, which just began today, October 15th, and will last through December 7th, she wants to switch back to original Medicare and enroll in a Medigap Plan G. Here's the clencher. Because she just went through a pretty serious health issue, she, was, she will be declined by an insurance company. She is allowed to go back to original Medicare starting for January 1st, 2024, but original Medicare only pays 80%. And so for her to get a Medigap Plan G, she has to go through health underwriting questions and either be approved or declined by any Plan G insurance company based on her health status. Since she just had this health issue arise, Unfortunately, there is nothing that me or any other agent can do to help her get approval. Her health condition is one of the serious ones. She's on medications that come up on a declinable drug list for most for these insurance companies that put out Medigap Plan G. The rule of enrollment for Medigap Plan G is this. When you are new to Medicare and you've been on it for under if you've had Part B in place for more than six months and you're over age 65, you have to go through medical underwriting. You can get back to original Medicare right now if you're on Medicare Advantage and be on original Medicare for January 1st of 2024. But you have to go through all those health underwriting questions and the insurance company pulls a pharmacy report to determine what medications you're on. And based on that information, they make a decision whether to approve or decline you based on your health. So many people, unfortunately, are stuck in the world of Medicare Advantage if, they, if they're on that path. And these past couple of years with these crazy commercials about Medicare Advantage and $0 premiums and all these extra benefits that had been out there that actually aren't as prominent for 2024, by the way, on the Medicare Advantage plans. 
They have been cut back significantly for various reasons. Feel free to watch other videos, you'll see why. So Mary is stuck on Medicare Advantage. So the only thing that is hopeful for her is to look at a new Medicare Advantage plan for 2024, but they're basically going to be all the same. The rule of thumb with a Medicare Advantage plan is if you're on a PPO, the larger the network of doctors and hospitals, the larger the maximum out of pocket is. On the alternative to that, there's also HMO networks on a Medicare Advantage plan, which restricts you to staying inside only your network and you cannot leave your network. The restriction on that means you also have to have a referral to see a specialist. And of course, it comes along with the max out of pocket and the prior authorizations. So if you are stuck with Medicare Advantage, at least do a PPO Medicare Advantage plan, unless you live in, a, in an area where you feel secure in knowing that all your doctors and hospitals are in that HMO network and you do not travel outside of the state. And it, these factors are based on income many times. And some people have no choice but to stay on Medicare Advantage. But I really hope now that you can see the difference between original Medicare with a Medigap plan versus Medicare Advantage. And the two different ways to be on Medicare are so unique and distinct. Because remember, Medicare Advantage replaces your original Medicare Part A and Part B and you still pay Medicare for Part B. But remember, when you're on Medicare Advantage, the financial burden gets shifted to the insurance company that holds your Medicare Advantage plan. And they make all rules and decisions on your care. And these companies are usually publicly traded on Wall Street. So your best interest is not always their first priority. When you're on original Medicare with a Medigap plan G, then it's already written in law. It was written in law in 1965 that anything your doctor deems as medically necessary must be covered by original Medicare at 80% and then by federal law that 20% gap has to be filled in by a Medigap plan. On a plan G, that 20% is filled in and you're only responsible for the Part B deductible of Medicare. Again, next year, $240 is your max out of pocket. Enrolling in Medigap Plan G is straightforward during your Medigap open enrollment period, which begins the six months prior to your Part B effective date and ends five months after your Part B effective date. In this period of time, the insurance companies cannot deny you coverage based on your health status or charge you higher premiums for pre-existing conditions. Missing this window leads to medical underwriting. And there are a couple of insurance companies that do offer Medigap Plan G, but at a higher price than a person that has no health issues. Now let's discuss the costs associated with Medicare Supplement Plan G for 2024 and provide some tips to help you find the best rates. The cost of Plan G varies based on factors like location, age, gender, and the insurance company that you choose. It's essential to compare the quotes from different Plan G insurance companies to find the best rates. But remember, a higher premium doesn't necessarily mean better coverage. Finding the right balance between cost and coverage is always key. Sure. As we end our explanation of Medicare Supplement Plan G, I hope you now have a clearer understanding of its benefits, why it's considered the top choice for Medicare. At MedigapCares.org, we are here to help you through the maze of Medicare and help you understand all of the details of both Medigap plans and also Medicare Advantage plans. Feel free to go on our site, MedigapCares.org, and book a free appointment. Our services are always free to you. Also, you can call us. Any of us have far more than enough experience to explain all this to you and be transparent. We are people who care about your Medicare. Thank you so much for joining me today on Medigap Show. And as always, please be well.